on her Adventures of Mimi summer concert tour. So I have something here for you because I made the uh, I Love Mimi shirt there. So I love the I Love Mimi yeah, shirt. Yeah, so I got one for you, even though we're just starting the interview. Oh, this is the I Love Mimi shirt? Well, it's not. you got to open it. Take a look. Here, I'll take that. Okay. That's fresh. And you can take this. You can just like yes, no, I have to do that. Jack will love that, though. My dog, Jack. I don't right. Know. And if... I think we're matching. I know. I love this. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, so I'll be looking forward to when I come see your show in Toronto. That you do that. This will be featured as a first. You may want to cut it This is a dress, Mariah right? Hyatt. Oh, no. It is. It's a Mariah style. It's a dress, right? Yeah, right yeah, it's there. Right, right here. The to. appropriate spot. Yeah. Of course. So who else is going to be helping you on the tour? You've done so many collaborations. You have Buster Rhymes, mm -hmm. John Falls, yeah. the opening for you, yes. uh, JD, yeah. uh, Snoop Dogg. Are these people going to make any appearances? I hope so. Well, we know John Paul is going to definitely be there. Right. Which is hot potatoes, hot stuff. I'm hoping that that, you know, when I go to certain cities, I'll be able to have some of my friends who are artists who are out there in town come out and get on the stage. I want to leave it open. You know what I mean? You're going to invite me to Houston? I think she could use your help right now. I, you know, I don't think anybody should judge anybody else because I don't, none of us really know what's going on with anybody. You know what I mean? It's like, of course I would invite Whitney. Yeah. She's always invited. I, anytime I ever spent with her, she's been one of the most fun people that I know. You look great right now. Thank you. Um, I heard that your leg just got insured and you were honored for having legs of a goddess. Isn't that, that a hot that. thing? That is a hot thing. I did receive that award yesterday. It was really cool. Um, I just signed a 16-foot replica of my legs. A little bizarre, but fun. Um, and it was, no, it was, it was very cool. Yes, I've been working out, but this is not the most slimming dress I've ever had, but you know. Um, so when you stand like that, then it. Well, yeah, you got. Well, actually, to really do it, you need a better camera angle, so I'd have to give you like one of these. Yeah. But they couldn't see that whole thing. They missed it. You have to come to the tour to see that. Now it's over to the West Coast, where Susie Walls got the new film, and as Zayn Negji found out, she's acquired a new skill. Let's talk about your acting career. You're returning to it. Canadian director Aaron Woodley is doing Tennessee. Yes. How did you get involved with that? I'm um, actually from Lee Daniels, who's the producer of the movie, who did uh, produce Monsters Ball with Halle Berry. And, and then he happened to see me in Wise Girls. It's a little independent movie with Mira Servino. And that got really, really good um, reviews. And so Lee takes risks. And when he saw Wise Girls, he was like, that's this character. That's how it happened. I'm excited about it, you know? So it's a challenging thing for me. I also had to learn how to play guitar. I had to cut my nails off completely. I could not have gone through a worse experience than I went through with, with glitter. And so I'm so thankful I did Wise Girls because just doing that movie got me into this position. <laughs> the whole glitter thing was much more like the the story, you know what I mean? So it's like, oh, let's call her the bad actress. Ha ha ha, that's such a great joke. All right, whoop de doo it's over. Move on to something else. Thanks, Ian. Mike Myers is lashing out at reports that say he's